Hello everyone, and welcome to another Miniature Monday. I'm Scott, and today we continue our foray into scatter terrain by looking at one of the more versatile pieces of scenery that you can have for an urban setting. Shelving. This piece is part of the Modular Shelves Library and Study Decor Set by EC3D Design, and was printed at home on my Ender 3. This set is an incredible collection of pieces, including desks, clocks, and books. However, its primary focus, shelves, provides you with enough variety to ensure that no two settings will look the same. Typically, when painting scenery like this, you aren't painting a single model. Instead, you are looking at anywhere from 5 to even sometimes 20 pieces. So today we are going to look at quick and simple techniques that will give you fantastic looking scenery ready by game night. Using Army Painter's Leather Brown Spray Primer, we are able to get a workable base coat down in a matter of seconds. If you're planning on painting a large amount of scenery or minis that have a very similar base color, then this method is a huge time saver. And after drying for just under a minute, our piece is ready for the next step. On to Army Painter's Uniform Gray. With this color, we are going to hit all of the metal pieces of this cabinet unit. This will be the hinges, handles, and drawer pulls. Although we could use a different color for each of these components, and maybe make the drawer pulls out of, say, a different colored wood, you have to remember that unless you are working on a spotlight piece, and by that I mean a piece of scenery that has great importance to the plot, or is something that your characters are going to be focused on, not every piece needs to be overly complicated and detailed. Still put care into the work that you are doing, but you don't have to go crazy. And remember, you have a lot more of these to do. Next up is Vallejo's Black Gray. This we will be using to darken the rivets on the hinges, as well as the locks and keyholes on the cabinets. This little addition will bring just enough detail out for our scenery to look as though it was built in a living, breathing world. And already it's time to move on to shading. For this we will be using Army Painter's Dark Tone on the entire piece. Now that the wash is going down, all of that fine grain of the wood is really coming into focus. With a piece like this, I'm not too worried about being heavy-handed with the shading, and you can see that I am putting quite a lot on the model to start with, and then moving it around, really making sure that I get it into all of the nooks and crannies. You don't want this to pool in any particular spot, because as that dries it will give you a very splotchy look, but you do want to make sure that you have total coverage over your piece. On to our highlighting, we will be using Army Painter's Desert Yellow to do a quick dry brush over the wooded area. And with that, our first of many shelves is ready for the table. I would like to give a quick shout out to the designers of this set. It really has become one of my more helpful tools in my kit as a crafting DM. These shelves are incredibly versatile, look brilliant on the table, and are quick to both print and paint. If you are interested in these models, you can check them out over on Heroes Horde, link in the description below. Have you ever had to build a set with little to no time to prep? I know I have. You know what helps with the pain of having done so? Sharing your experiences. Let me know your stories in the comments below so that we can all feel just a little better. I hope that you have enjoyed this look into quick and easy paint jobs for set pieces on the fly. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more nerdy content. Once again, I'm Scott, and I will see you at the next Miniature Monday.